guys, welcome back. Um, I was just saying before that uh, I feel like every video that I do is an unboxing of some kind, and this one is no different because I got plant down. So, um, this is one that I actually didn't think that I was ever gonna get. Um, that I ever even really wanted, but it's slowly kind of grown on me. And uh, this order again is from Riem, and I saw that they had a few of them on the site. Um, and you know what? I just decided that I was going to take the plunge and just get one and uh, be a member of that club. So I'm going to get into the box. Somehow, oh, <laughs> pulled the open. Okay, there we go. Uh, so, I'm actually kind of surprised, maybe because it's um, shipped, I paid for FedEx, so it was overnight shipping. Um, because the East Coast right now is going through a huge heat wave. Um, I've actually had a couple of orders put on hold because the temperature is too high there to send them out and they would be, com be coming by um, expedited post and I just, I can't get them yet. So, without further ado, I... I'm now the proud owner of, hang on, let me, I don't even know where to look anymore. Um, oh, that's so cute. Okay, this is loud, yes, yes, I know. And so this was the same place that I got my Anthurium and my uh, Philodendron No ID from. And it looks beaten and weathered and the package is actually <gasps> torn. So I don't know how well she's gonna do. All the leaf is damaged, but it's a Philodendron Gloriosum. Um, yeah, these leaves are, aw, oh, that's sad. And then there's another one over here. But again, the same thing happened with my Anthurium pedatum and the Philodendron. Um, the moss is soaking wet. And the way I see it, if, if it's being shipped overnight, um, it doesn't need to be this wet. Um, here are the... Oh. oh, this one's gonna be my baby because she's just so sad. So, here... I don't know if you can see them. Focus, focus, focus. Are her roots. One nice long one. There's one going up. I don't understand that. Um, but I'm going to rehab her. Um, I'm probably going to put her with my with my Anthurium, um, which lives in my bathroom right now, um, along with my propagations and stuff. But this older leaf actually looks better to me than this one. But you know what? Oh, you wouldn't you won't be able to see it, but down inside there there's there's a new there's a new little one that's gonna pop out eventually. So that being said, see there's a little bit of rot at the end of this root. Well, I'll take care of that. This moss is so damp. Oh I feel like that's 
Oh, the tip of this root too also has a little bit of rot on it. Well, I guess, I guess it's time to save her then, isn't it? Right? Okay guys, so that's it. Um, I just wanted to unbox this. They didn't even let me know. I actually went on the site last night and was checking to see if my order had been fulfilled and it said yes, but they didn't send me any tracking or anything for FedEx um, when it was sent out. So it must've been sent out yesterday. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, I just ripped that root off. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. That's it, I'm done. I'm gonna take my precious little baby and um, I'm gonna go now and put her someplace safe and hope that she recovers. So I will see you in the next video, bye. Hi guys, um, okay, so today is day five um, since I got my little Gloriosum. Um, I think that it looks perkier Think that she's perked up a bit. Um, so today I am going to put her in soil because I think that she needs it um, at this point. So that is what we're going to do today. Okay guys, I know this is a really wonky angle. Um, like, yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to get it all in there. But, um, we are going to try to do this. All right. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in this terracotta pot because, um, well, I mean, number one, they seem to do better for me in terracotta. I do have a few of my philodendrons right now in plastic self-watering pots and I kind of want to kick myself. Not that anything bad is happening to them, but I guess the temperature has been really cool here at the same time lately. So I feel like they're just staying wet too long. Um, and in this room, the humidity is usually between 65 and 75 at any given time without a humidifier. So, I mean, I guess that's part of the problem. But anyway, so as you can see, my little Gloriosum has, she has definitely perked up some, um, but I feel like she needs nutrients um, now because, uh, she wasn't in, she wasn't in soil or I don't, I mean, I don't know how they root their plants there, but she had come with a little bit of root rot, so I didn't want to do anything right away. Um, but I feel like now I can plant her and see, you can see, I don't know if you can really tell the little spots. I believe those were bacterial from the root issue um, that it had. So I hope it's going to be okay. This is the oldest leaf, so if I lose it, I lose it. But hopefully, you can just get that little tiny guy in the middle there to come out for us. So. I've got my soil mixture pre-mixed um, because for the most part I just I take an entire bag of ProMix. Um, I think that it's the 9 liter bag, maybe, I don't know, um, and an entire bag of orchid bark. I'll have to show you all how I make my soil mixture um, another time.
there she is. Hopefully that leaf will turn and I'm hoping there isn't too much damage um, going on there. But yeah, so there she is. Um, she's already got a name and I, I just call her beauty all the time. And uh, there will definitely be updates on this one for sure. All right. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys are safe and well. Please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye.